वाहे गुरु 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 वाहे वाहे गुरु वाहे ओके सो आई एम स्टैंडिंग हियर सॉरी व्हाट्स योर नेम माय नेम इज एरिक एरिक नाइस टू मीट यू with eric he's a, a hari krishna he's handing out the bhagavad gita and uh, i realized i've never really had a conversation with a uh, hari krishna or uh, or on the street in general so i thought we'd have a little conversation so uh, eric what 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 are you doing here my friend what what's the, what you handing out here yes yeah, so we're doing we're doing a uh, shastra daan we're trying to enlighten the world shastra daan very nice yeah we're trying to give knowledge knowledge yeah knowledge is power the pen is mightier than the sword yeah absolutely So um to giving guidance to the people right It's more personal that way Yeah absolutely it's just have a normal conversation So um Eric what what is it that you're trying to tell people about like I, I don't know much yeah. about um the Hare Krishna movement but tell me tell me like the bare bones like what is the essence of it So yeah this just shows basically we go through all these different changes over the course of our lives physically mentally emotionally Right yeah The idea is that real happiness doesn't come from material things 100% it comes from inside the soul. 100% right And what is the concept of the soul and the creator how does that work for you guys right so so the idea is that you know the soul is like part and parcel of god you know, 100% like a, yeah like a fragmental like a like spark a drop in the ocean flame, or right. a fra- yeah yeah and and so the idea is that you know just like so like the different parts of the body are meant to serve the whole body yeah. in the same way that the particle soul is meant to serve the supreme soul brilliant and yeah so you know we do this so you got the purush and the and the and like the parabrahm and brahm right individual atma and paramatma yeah that's correct yeah right. And and uh, how do how does one actually connect to that paramatma then? Yeah, yoga. So this yoga, yoga you know. physical yoga. Well, um it can be, you know, there's there's different types of yoga, but ultimately, you know, the idea is bhakti yoga right. is uh is the the most, you know, potent and effective means, you know, for for connecting with God. The bhakti. idea is that there's a uh, uh there's four know. forms of yoga, karma yoga, bhakti yoga, uh what's the other one? Gyan gyan yoga and sangha. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, and, and bhakti yes. yoga. Yeah. And okay so we we're on a very similar page then bhakti yeah. is our way as well Maybe. you know we do kirtan which i know you guys do yeah. uh we uh, sit and chant we do a mantra mantra yeah, job mantra, which you guys do um langar. and langar yeah <laughs> yeah i know you guys even do langar as well so we're a very similar page then yeah. um what is the did you know did you know our gurus are were friends our friends friends yeah well obviously all the all the bahapuriks are friends they like their friends but the um, but who who is your guru so what how does it work what's the guru so our sampradaya goes back you know goes back to you know many generations but about 500 years ago um we're going we trace back to uh, chaitanya you know chaitanya chaitanya no i don't know him yeah he was uh, um considered like a you know covered avatar you know covered incarnation almost like coming in disguise okay but he's you know referenced different places like a gupta avatar shastra yeah that's right and so you know of so of whom uh well, vishnu or krishna okay yeah. and so so he so he come you know and he was so for you wish krishna is an avatar of vishnu and he was a avatar of krishna so same thing well i guess you know we kind of see it the other way around is that is that uh vishnu is an avatar of krishna Right, you know, there's there's in Bhagavad Quran, you know, it says uh, uh there's a list of all the different avatars. Right. And then at the end it says Krishna's two Bhagavan Swayam, you know, that but this Krishna, this is uh God himself, you know, this right. is the um Swayam Bhagavan. Okay. And uh, so yeah, this is this is kind of the, is the way But w- which uh, we understand Krishna to be of the uh, Dwapar of the yeah, Dwapar Jug. Right. Yeah. So he's from Dwapar. Right? And so Vishnu was in the it was in Sajjug. and then it came krishna who was basically sri krishna who we called the dwapar jo then and ram ji was in treta uh-huh. you guys accept ram ji yeah of course okay so the okay and then um so the idea is that there's not there's not always like really an, uh, an avatar you know listed for for kali yuga you know sometimes you have a one avatar for kali yuga so the idea is this chaitanya he is the avatar you know, for you guys considered yeah the idea is that you know he comes you know it talks about you know there's i forget exactly where in shastra you know, it talks about how you know there's he comes but he's not he's not like the normal he's not like a blackish color you know he's not you know, so he comes in like a different way you know he comes with his associates and so, so he brings that's that's i guess that's how we we kind of differ mm-hmm. we believe gunan dev ji to be the avatar of kaljug okay so he's actually the con- the, the person who's going to solve uh kaljug is basically gunan dev is also bringing this bringing this uh um you know the the holy name you know yeah the, yeah no so, so no this, so, this so what we jump is we jump the mantra wahe guru huh? and wahe guru for us is made up of four mantras which is the four letters of vava ha ha 
Gagga and Rara, Vahe Guru. And how that, that, that relates to the four jugs is that in uh, Satyug it was uh, uh, Vishnu mantra, right? Uh -huh. So Vasudeva was a guru, he gave the Vishnu mantra. Oh, yeah, then, uh, yeah, so the Vava, Vava came from the Satyug, right? Uh -huh. Then uh, Hari Krishna gives the Haha, Vahe, right? So you got the two Akras, right? Two letters. Okay. Then the third one is uh, from Ramji's Rara Ram. Uh -huh. yeah? And then the Gaga is from Guru, Guru Nanak Dev Ji giving Govind. Uh -huh. yeah? And then you put them all together and you get the ultimate mantra of all four ages, uh -huh. Vahe Guru. Right? So that's what we believe that the, the, the Guru completed all four. And he was a four, there's four enlightened ones of each age, Chare, Jage, Chojogi, Panchayam, which Aap Hove. That the, the Supreme is him and each of the four. So the Guru basically he completed such, he was the avatar of Kalyuk. He is the avatar of Kajur. Yeah, well, you know, that's how we see. That's how, uh, that's how we would see it. So you know, anyone who anyone who who is bringing this nam, you know, this is this is like. No, I mean even Kabir ji, Ram Dev ji, no, and uh, um, uh, Farid ji, all these people. Did you know about Guru Granth Sahib ji, by the way? Actually, I don't know. Actually, I asked you guys. So what? So yeah. Guru Granth Sahib ji has writings of Sheikh Farid, Nam Dev ji, Kabir ji, um, Jai Dev ji, many many pagats, many many uh, Sufis. All together, including the gurus as well. Yeah. But the gurus wrote this themselves, like their own writings come from God. They say this is Turki Bani, Bani from Akal Purak is coming down. So the, who was the, uh, what was his name? The fifth, 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 fifth five hundred years ago, what was oh, yeah. it? Yeah, Chaitanya Maha. Chita, Chaitanya. Did he write Bani? So he. Did he write like writings? So he, his disciples did most of the uh, most of the uh, okay. compilation okay. of his teachings. He left. He left what's called Shikshaskam, which is these eight instructions of how to how to chant Nam and how to. Right. Uh, and did he did he write anything more? He just wrote those that's, eight, that's eight, the only eight thing principles that, that came to us. Yeah. But, okay. But yeah, his disciples, you know, codified his teachings. You know, the the uh, uh, the six the Shad So is uh, is he the guru then? So people are people are following him as the guru. Yeah, I mean, you know, well, well his did it know, flow he down? initiated disciples. Yeah, parampara. You know, so then his disciples, parampara, right? his disciples. Yeah, and, they, and so you know. So have we still got one now? Yeah, so then our spiritual master, Srila Prabhupada, he came to the U.S. in 1965 to bring these teachings to the Western world. And now, his, now his disciples, you know, have, have continued. So is, is, okay, but no, I'm just trying to work out whether he is, so he's the full, uh, un, unbroken chain um, people, beginning with Lord Krishna himself, Yeah. i.e. Yeah, yeah. Chaitanya. Right, so then... So, so it's from Chaitanya, Chaitanya to now. So then Chaitanya was part of this uh, Madhva, Madhva Sampradaya. Okay. You know, there's, so there's the, you know, the uh, Madhva, Nambarka, um, you know, there's uh, like you know, the Sri Sampradaya, right. uh, Rudra, uh, you know, Lakshmi, and the... Uh, I don't know. Kumar, the, you know, I don't know about it. And going back... I've never heard of the four Sampradaya, sorry. This yeah. is something new to me. Yeah, so, uh, so we're, 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 you know, so this is the, the, the recent segment is coming what was What was unique with that Guru then for, like, or with Chaitanya? What was the unique thing that he gave? In terms of like for Kaljuk, what was his uh, message for Kaljuk? Yeah, so so I guess you know his his message was, um, you know about how about the the pastimes of the spiritual world, you know about he was kind of like sort of showing people, you know like like what is uh, what is it what is what is pure love of God? You know? Yeah. So he was demonstrating this in his life. You know, how did he how did he demonstrate it? Just, well, just, just you know, loads of his, his, his chanting and his dancing and his ecstasy and his okay. you know brilliant realization and you know and just the love and compassion that he had for everyone you know not just to take these things and keep them to ourselves and go spread it yeah and go yeah. to the mountain no I really the like cave. the fact that you yeah you, they, so do you, do you guys live in the world so yeah the idea is that this is this is very noble you know to to go to you know go to the wilderness to in order to attain perfection but the idea is it's considered a higher principle you know to act in compassion and to go yeah. out to, and to share with people wow. and, so, and so yeah this we, we have to have, have this this document, we have give all these leaflets out to people. We're not obviously they're not as big and fat as that book, but um, oh, you got one of this from from a student here. Yeah? <laughs> Amazing! Look at that. Basics <laughs> are spreading out in California. Look at that. So um, her, no, name, what, her name was Parmesh Farkor. Parmesh Farkor, yeah. Was she shout in Fresno? Out, shout out to her. She was she in Fresno? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I know her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go down, Parmesh. <laughs> Shabash. So we have this idea. I mean, obviously, this science and reincarnation, you probably agree with, right? Yeah. But. Um, we, this document is a little bit more detailed, so I thought I'd go through with it, right? Uh -huh. um, so you know, like the very first letter in the Guru Granth Sahib Ji is called Ik Onkar. Have you heard this word? Oh. Ik Onkar. Not exactly. It sounds so, like Onkar. Yeah, exactly. So it's very similar. So Onkar, Onkar is like the three powers, right? I, um, the creator, are 
and then Akara and Ukara for the sustainer and Makara for the destroyer Mahesh. So you got Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesh, the creator, sustainer, destroyer. But Gunande Ji, very interestingly, 500 years ago, he put Ik in front. He said, Ik Oankar. Ik, you know, is Ik, right? One. Oh, okay. and, and they were like, what are you doing? What are you doing this confusing stuff for? We know what, uh, 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 what, what um, um, Omkara is. Makes sense to us, right? There's three main beings. How can you put Ik in front? He's like, no, no, no. The one creates, the one sustains, the one destroys. The one's in charge. The three people, they act under his command. And actually, they, they can't see him. They've, actually, they've got ego themselves. They've got Homme. And they get stuck in thinking that they're the one who's creating. But actually, he's only the one who creates, sustains and destroys. So, he was very much about back to Ik. And so, Guru, Guru Sahib actually says in Bani, that there's been many, many Krishnas. There's been many, many Shivas, many, many Brahmas. And ultimately, the source of all this Brahmand, this multi verse, everything, it comes down to the Ik. Yeah? Not to say that Krishna is not like a form of that Ik, but that it's the Ik that is super, yeah. super sees all that. So, the first word in our scripture is Ik. Sure. Ik I, mean, I, I guess you know, kind of our, you know, our, our understanding is that you know, there's, there is actually, you know, the, the oneness is is uh, personal. Yeah. Like, like in the sense. No, I agree. That, that the gurus are like, for us the representation of God. Sure. Okay. Uh, you know, I guess so. You know, our, I guess our, it's similar, but you know, the idea is that you know, our, our guru also, you know, is, is representative of, of Krishna. You know, or that the, the So the guru, but that's that's what we got a bit confused. See? So, uh, so the difference would be for us is that the Guru represents God. Yeah. So the Guru doesn't represent anybody else. Yeah. So you. But so so your your is the the, the the Guru represents Krishna and the Krishna represents God. Well, it's, yeah. Also, it's kind of a little bit different, you know, because like cause the idea is that it's not that that uh, you know like Krishna or Vishnu would be considered in a different category, you know, than for instance Brahma or Shiva. You know, another they're all the same. The facets are the same one. Like you know, so they're so they're kind of like. You know, so the idea is that you know that this the supreme person, you know, Krishna never comes under Maya, never comes under illusion. Right. So he just he's he's a. Uh, but Brahma and Vishnu did get under illusion. Right. Right. You know, they they can be. Somewhat, There's a whole story where Shiva cut off Brahma's insane. head, right? Yeah, you know the story, right? He became angry. Right? Yeah, he became angry because yeah. he said, "Who's the greatest?" And he was like, "Oh, somebody else is." And uh, Shiva got angry because he wanted to be the greatest. He chopped one of um, Brahma's heads off. So yeah, for that he had to do penance, he had to come upon earth and he was punished because right, he, so he killed a Brahmin, cut a head off a Brahmin. So, these, yeah, these, these, uh, they so for us, they, they're not dailies, they're not um, realized beings for us, right, those right. three. They've got a job to do, but so they're not the supreme. So our idea is that you know, Vishnu, Vishnu is, is different. He, he, has, uh, he has nothing to do, he has no responsibility. You know, he's, you know, he's maintaining, but he's, uh, you know, he's, he's um, you know, in the causal ocean, you know, he's, he's just reclining. You know, Vishnu, you know, same, yeah. or, or Krishna, you Sheshnag, know. Just Krishna, 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 Krishna right? has nothing to do, you know. Really? He's, he's okay. just playing, playing his lute and, Bounce, uh, yeah. and enjoying with his friends, you know. Yeah, yeah he's got his gopiya and he's chilling, yeah. yeah? Okay. So this, is, this is Krishna. You know, this, this is what I was going to say, like for us, like the main, the path of all the saints, this is why all the scriptures got all the writing inside it. Is that we believe that this is the path: lust, yeah. anger, greed, attachment, pride. Right. Leave those. Truth, contentment, compassion, righteousness, and forgiveness. Yeah. Those are the five qualities, the gun. Okay. And this is the avgun. Leave these and go embrace these. And the wise downwards is because of humility. Yeah. Uh -huh. So we're trying to get humility, you know, the humble thing. I like that. I like that. Yeah. So this is, this is like something that we made. So feel free to. I've got one of yours, so you can take one of these. Okay. Um, how how is your faith towards women and men? <coughs> yeah, I mean, so it is that. Um, you know, we're all spirit soul. Right. You know, so, so you know, everyone, uh, you know, a real a realized person, you know, sees everyone with equal vision. Yeah. You know, in the sense that Some everyone's distinct. equally valuable. Yeah. Um, you know, but at the same time, you know, there's also another aspect where, you know, there are distinctions as well. You know, this is this is kind of you know we were kind of talking a little bit about you know like communism and these things also. You know, it's like you know so in some sense you know it's like there's there's. So can, can women? I don't know. Can women preach? Uh, yeah, sure. And then women can be like um, like doing kirtan and everything else. Yeah, sure, sure. Okay, so that's so in, in t the equal or, yeah, it's or just, you know, just just in the sense that you know we have. Uh, well, are know, there differences or? Yeah, I mean you know like like you know in some sense you know like um, uh, you know there's there's this, uh, you know an idea that you know women should be you know protected and you know because there's so much exploitation in the world it could be dangerous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know so you know what the guru does. So, you know, the yeah. guru he, he, the guru gives them a weapon. To the guru, like, let's start with it about women. The guru gave him a sword. Yeah. He goes, protect yourself. 
you're right, they need to be protected. But the Guru said, look, I'm going to protect you by giving you a sword. Uh -huh. Right, you defend yourself. Very sort of American ideal, you might say, like everybody's got a gun. Everybody's got their own weapon. How are you guys with violence, by the way? Yeah, I mean, you know, so the idea is there's a, there's a time and a place for everything. Oh, so you've got that idea that you, if need to be, you may have to defend yeah, yourself. Talking and about Gita takes place on a battlefield. Yeah, the absolutely. Whole time, Arjuna is saying, I don't want to... So, <laughs> did the Hare Krishna movement now, did it have any system of like... Uh, an army or so, ever ever taken part in anything which so, is like so right now you know we're we're um, you know we're brahminical movement you know we're trying to you know, the idea is first you know these, these things these things are necessary you know. but ha have the Hare Krishnas ever got involved in anything no, or are they no. still pretty much uh, no, since they since the inception have they been militarily involved in anything no no no, we, no? so so at this point you know we still have a long a long way to go in terms of you know establishing like um, you know, like a real, what we would call uh, Daivi Varnashram. Daivi Varnashram. Da, what, what, uh, var, varnashram, da, you know? Yeah, Varnashram so, is like a caste, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so, but the idea is that, you know, the, the, the caste system as we've known it has, has been, you know, presented in a very, you know, it's kind of become corrupted, you know, in the sense that, you know, they've lost sight of the, the goal. The real essence, yeah, yeah, yeah. The idea yeah. is that ultimately everyone, every, everyone there has to... So the Hare Krishna don't have a caste system, right? Um, well, or do you? not at the moment. The idea is that ideally, you know, these things are helpful because the idea is that there's there's natural varieties. Like, you know, in other words, some people are just natural born leaders. You know, yeah. They have to have a lot of courage and strength. True, true. You know, other people are more like intellectual. You know, they like yeah, yeah. To think about no, but things. people fall into groups like anyway. Their hands. But, right. that's, but, the, but do you have like, do you divide them off and say there's a hierarchy? Yeah, is, these, are, these are natural divisions. But the idea is that, uh, you know, the idea is... You know, but what if somebody was like a very spiritual? very much a, a scholar but was also very good at fighting but yeah. the gurus they transcended the caste you know they did all yeah. and many many Sikhs since then have also been of the type that were very spiritual and yet they didn't um, they, they, they sort of got involved in fighting like yeah, we've got Baba Deep Singh Ji yeah, one of our main scholars he wrote the Guru Granth Sahib Ji in, in, in Farsi mm -hmm. and in Persian and yet he then went off and fought on the battlefield you know sure. yeah, so, Can, so, you so in, for us the, the Sikh faith is like make all four into one yeah. that's our aim for people who are who are transcendental, you know, trans yeah, these things are external. Yeah. yeah. So those aren't the ultimate, the ultimate end. But the idea is that until until we we uh, we reach that platform where we're really transcendental, we can utilize these things. You know, in the in the interim, it can be useful to kind of like have some kind of structure to make the okay. application of those those. Uh, it, it, you know, it, a lot of it sounds very similar to Sikhi, to be honest. Yeah. You know, I don't see that, be, that being. Yeah. We have a concept that the, you know, yeah. what we see ourselves as the Sikhs. It's like the like a bit like the Jedi's, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. They walk around, they arm, they do the right thing, they're connected to the one force, you know, they're forced, they are connected to that power. And how we see it is like our job is to protect all the saints. The Guru Gobind Singh Ji was told by God, I've made you my son. Go into this world and spread dharm, righteousness. Right? And then wherever you see saints protect them, wherever you see bad guys, uproot them. So we see everybody who is on the on the good path, you know, the Santa Kamarak, the road of all the saints, right? Yeah. That they're all under our protection. Yeah. You know, we, we're here to protect everybody. We're not here to oppress, we're not here to convert. We're here to protect everybody who's on this spiritual path, you know, whether they be Christian, Muslim, Hindu. The, the fifth Guru, um, you know, he was tortured for his beliefs, right? Yeah. But the Golden Temple, the they stopped, yeah, Guru Arandeji, but his this, the foundation stain of, of the Golden Temple was laid by a Muslim, you know. Um, the sixth Guru actually made a mosque for some poor Muslims, right? A very unique example of a head of one faith to make a prayer pay on another faith, you know. And then the ninth Guru actually gave his life to save Hinduism. You know, it, Guru Gobind Singh writes about his father and he says that Tilak the new Raka Taka. Right, in this Kaljog he did a Vadda Saka, a great thing in Kaljog that he saved people of Nanda Taram, but he saved the saints. So our, our purpose is to Sant Ubaran, you know, save all the saints. So in a way, like we're at your service, you know. Well, we're at yours. Yeah, well. cool man. No, absolutely. So will you guys, will you guys have lightsabers in the future? What do you think? We, well, if they can invent them, you know, everything is cool. Guru Gobind was about Shastar, you know, whether it's guns, knives, swords, um, whatever. Whatever, throwing chakras, you know, the throwing, throwing ones. So um, yeah, if lightsabers get invented, then I don't see why we should have them. But that's not a story, you know, and the big cloaks. <laughs> and then, you know. Anyway, we never die, so the force is always with you, you know. Um, I mean, we're on YouTube, you can check us out. We've got this YouTube channel called Basin Yeah, I think it's... Um, um, the Guruji, they actually not just like bhajans, I know the bhajans are like either simple tunes, but the Gurus, they stuck to rag. It's a very high level of spirituality, you know. And it's something which really allows people to delve deep into a, a, a musical art form, which 
transcends the soul, you know, a rag. Uh, and all of Guru Granth Sahib Ji is in rag. Right? It's divided by rag. So if you ever get a chance, check it out in English on YouTube. That's beautiful. Yeah, well, it, it's definitely beautiful, 100%. Uh, nice talking to you. I'll give you that as well. Thanks for your time, Eric. Thank you very much. Nice talking to you. Take care. All right. Thanks. Uh, we say uh, Waheguru Ji ka Khalsa, Waheguru Ji ki Vada. That means uh, the Khalsa belongs to God. Sorry. That the Khalsa belongs to God. Uh, and that uh, uh, we, uh, that God has the victory, not us. Okay. Yeah, Waheguru Ji ka Khalsa, Waheguru Ji ki Fatu. I need to look that up. Okay. It's on all the videos. It's at the beginning of all the videos. Thank you very much. Okay, thanks very much. May the source be with you. Thank you. And the force be with you. <laughs>